everyone. Thank you for joining me again. If you're new to my channel, my name is Janice. Today we have a collaboration with eight wonderful, talented crafters. Our theme is going to be unbelievable, all about the leaves. Um, I will list the playlist down in the description box below. Follow the playlist and to each video. Um, show them some love, okay? So to keep the theme, the leaves, I made four DIYs. Um, out of my comfort zone, but I gave it a try. So I hope you like it. So let's get crafting. So I'm taking this leaf that I got from a tree and this beige paint that I got from Michael's and then the antique wax that I got from Hobby Lobby and this uh, craft paper that I got from Hobby Lobby as well. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to take craft paper um, and then I'm gonna turn the leaf upside down and I'm going to trace the middle part and the two ends. Now I'm going to take some Mod Podge and apply it to the wood leaf. So now I'm taking the paper again and I'm going to flip the wood piece over and then I'm going to trace the two ends and then I'm going to cut that out and then I'm going to Mod Podge that down as well. So now I'm going to be using my antique wax paint and I'm going to be painting the bare area and then I'm going to use a baby wipe to wipe out the excess. The antique wax and the paper combination looks so pretty, don't you think? Now I'm using the antique wax to paint the bottom part of the wood leaf. Isn't it pretty? It looks so cute. I love it. So I'm going to use this ball sign that I got from Dollar Tree. But first I'm going to give it a quick coat of paint of the uh, antique white. So I am trying to figure out how to lay it down on the wood piece and then I'm going to take some hot glue and then I'm going to place it on the wood piece. And that's what it looks like. It's so cute. And now I'm going to take some of these jingle blocks and I'm going to make a little stand so this way it could stand on its own. But unfortunately it has that little piece in the middle which makes it difficult so I had to put it on an angle. So cute, you could put it on a shelf, you can leave it on a table, you can hang it up. It's so adorable.
So for the next DIY, I took this Dollar Tree canvas, I think it's 11 by 14, and this chalkboard black paint from Dollar Tree, and I created a stencil, and I'm gonna also use this 11 by 14 frame from Dollar Tree. It's my Cricut, and I came up with some vinyl words that says happy fall, but I don't use the word happy. So the first thing I'm going to do is remove the plastic from the canvas. Now I'm laying down my stencil that I created on my Cricut and then I'm going to remove the transfer tape. Now I'm going to be starting off using the chalkboard black paint from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to use a regular brush. So what I'm doing here is laying the black paint um, darker on the corner of the leaf and just lightly coating the middle of it because I'm going to be using antique wax um, to cover the leaf so it looks like two-tone. Now I'm going to start applying the antique wax. So the, you can see the leaf on the outside of the leaf, the black paint, it's darker. So um, it gives it that really cool contrast. Okay, this is it. We're removing the stencil paper and look how nice it turned out. See the dark black around the edges? It looks so nice. Okay, so now I'm going to put this, um, the vinyl that I created on my Cricut, the word fall. And like I said, I didn't use the word happy. I just, it just looked too crowded. So now I was debating if I should just put the frame around it or should I use the glass? Well, I end up using the glass and put it in the frame and it, look, it looks so beautiful. So now I need something to hang it with. I don't want to use just the regular clip and back. I want something different. So I decided to grab one of... Uh, those round hooks from Dollar Tree, it comes in packs, they're in the school supplies, and I had this wire. So I'm just gonna drill a hole in the top and I'm gonna place the wire inside and hook the little metal round circle to it so that they hang on my wall. And I think it really makes, uh, it makes it look really pretty. So now I'm taking my drill and changing the drill bit um, putting in a little tiny one because I don't want to crack the frame. And I'm just going to drill a little hole and then I'm going to place the wire through it. So now I'm going to take the wire, I'm going to place it inside the hole, and I'm going to bend one corner and then bend the other side around the other side of the frame, and I'm going to snip that off, and then I am going to apply the little metal clip. So this is what it looks like once it's in place, and I think it really, really makes the picture look beautiful. What do you guys think?
Okay, so this pretty tray that I got from Dollar Tree and these vases and candles and the package of leaves that I got from Dollar Tree as well. Um, this tray is really pretty and it's a lot heavier than the ones from last year. So I'm going to unpackage the one candle that was still in the plastic and then I'm going to put them in the vases. Take the large vase and the two small vases and place them on top of the tray. So the first thing I'm going to do is take the leaves out of the package and start situating them around the tray inside, all around the vases. Between the color of the tray and the leaves, it just screams fall. It's so gorgeous. So now I'm taking some floral that I got out of the tree. I'm just going to place it on top of the tray. I believe it's called wheat. These pretty sunflowers. They are so gorgeous. The orange and the red, just beautiful for fall. Figure out which flowers I want to put on the tray. Right now I'm cutting the wheat flowers and I'm going to place two, I believe, on top of the tray. So now I'm cutting a few pieces of the pretty flower and just placing it all around inside. I believe I used two or three of them, the little sunflowers. So I'm just filling some areas that are empty with the leaves, just to, trying to make it a little more fuller and make it look pretty. Now I'm taking a few of these orange mums, I believe they're called, from Dollar Tree, and I'm placing a few all inside, all around. I think it's turning out really pretty. So I'm just adding a few more of the wheat flowers. Now I'm taking this green plant I got from um, Dollar Tree and I'm gonna cut a few pieces and just give it some green around the area just to make it, cause it's so orange and I just want a little green in there. And this is how it turned out. I think it came out really pretty. So for this DIY, I took this little eight inch wreath frame that I got from Dollar Tree. Some of these pipe cleaners and some orange mesh and some white mesh. And I'm gonna make a little wreath with some leaves because our theme is leaves. So I'm gonna add that to the, the wreath as well. I'm gonna use my little rotary cutter from Dollar Tree. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab some of the mesh and I'm going to start cutting. So I'm taking this white mesh, I'm going to measure it about eight inches and cut a few pieces on each mesh eight inches. I'm not sure how many I'm gonna need because it's such a small little wreath. So I'm just gonna cut as I go.
So I took one of the white, one of the orange, and rolled it. Now I'm going to put it on the wreath, but I forgot I was supposed to put one of the little uh, pipe cleaners on there first. It makes it easier. So now I'm going to take a couple of the pipe cleaners and just add a few. Just makes it easier to add the mesh to it. So I just grab it with my fingers and kind of walk up till I roll it into my hand and then I just take the white one and the orange one together and I just put it on on the wreath itself with the little pipe cleaners and I'm doing two each pipe cleaner. So I'm just um, adding more and now I'm going to grab a few of the leaves that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm going to place that also where the little mesh is in the pipe cleaners and just tie it off. So I'm going to do that going around the whole wreath because I have to add the, the uh, leaves into the wreath itself. Um, I'm going to alternate colors and so far this is what it looks like. I'm going to put more orange as we go and try to make it as full as possible. So I did more off camera and um, this is what it looks like so far. I think it's coming up pretty good considering I don't usually do wreaths. This is like my third wreath ever. <laughs> so I think it's coming up pretty good. So now I took a sign from Dollar Tree, um, one of the little Halloween signs, and I'm going to place that in the middle of the wreath because it needed something. I'm just going to paint it. I decided to paint it um brown truffle brown but in the end i change it to white plaster white because the brown was just too dark for it i did add a few things off camera to the wreath i added some of these little things from Dollar Tree. They're like sparkly. I don't know what you want to call them. Um, I'm pointing to them right now. And then I added a ribbon underneath it because it was so see-through, the uh, metal ring. So this is the um, Dollar Tree sign that I painted white. And I took my Cricut and I'm, I cut out the word autumn. And I'm just going to put that on the little plaque. So this vinyl that I used was like a copper color. It was very pretty. I thought it was perfect for fall. Okay, so now I need to attach it to the wreath. And um, I thought using the pipe cleaners would be a good idea. But you will see I did not end up using the pipe cleaners. After fighting with the pipe cleaners, I decided, forget it, I'm just going to use the hot glue. And this is how it turned out. I think it really came out really cute, um, considering I don't usually make wreaths since like my third one. <laughs> what do you guys think? Well, that's it, guys. That's the end of the video, and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for joining me again. I really do appreciate it. And if you did like the video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I got some really great videos coming again let me know if you want more halloween videos or do you want some fall videos let me know what you're interested in till then guys see you next time bye bye